I have never really been good with money. Not being good at managing it, not being good at saving it, and even sometimes <laughs> not being good at making it. But when I got married, I realized that if being conscious of finances is not something I put focus on, I'll always be in a struggle, even if I'm minted. So around that time, I finally picked up on Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover, which needs to be taken with a pinch of salt because there's a lot of it that just doesn't really match up for a Muslim's lifestyle. But nonetheless, the basic principles really changed my life and how I look at money. The truth is, this is the case for most of us. When we first get a job and experience some financial independence, we end up making a lot of mistakes and generally buying things we can't afford. This video though is not so much about how we spend or save and don't worry I'm not going to be telling you off for your spending habits but more so about just knowing what's going on with our finances. Ramsey mentions that we should never even have one pound that doesn't have a label on it and since I adopted that mentality my life has changed and my stresses have reduced. And just before we get into how I manage my finances, speaking of money, if you're looking to increase your money, it's a great time for me to announce that I have just launched my first ever course on Skillshare for free. The course goes in depth into how to get sponsorships and brand deals, as well as how to get the attention of businesses that are perfect for you. And whilst in my course, I speak about how to do this with regards to podcasting, the knowledge and practices apply for whatever business or project you may have. The course is completely free if you click on the link in my bio and that link will also get you two free months of Skillshare Premium. I go into detail of how I managed to make Freshly Grounded my full-time job and give away some of my best assets such as our pitch deck that we send to potential sponsors. Click the link in my bio and hopefully you can benefit off the years and years of mistakes and subsequent successes that I managed to go through with Freshly Grounded. Okay, so given the fact that I'm normally so pro-technology, pro-efficiency and using technology to our advantage, uh, you'll be super surprised to find out that I don't use any of that stuff. I just use good old fashioned spreadsheets. And when I say good old fashioned spreadsheets, uh, I use Google Sheets. I just like how it kind of all syncs in my cloud, but I don't use stuff like Monzo and all these other great apps that exist. I just don't. I've used this. I one time when I realized that my finances were a mess, kind of peeked over at Omar's desk and saw him using his spreadsheet. And I liked it. I asked him to send it over to me and I've amended it a bit to kind of work great with my lifestyle. And so I want to kind of share that with you. And it's perfect for like the everyday Muslim, inshallah, but uh, you don't have to use this. This is just what works for me. There's definitely apps that exist that they can literally take what you spend out of your bank and then like add some kind of algorithm to show, you know, what you've spent money, which money you spent on food and this, that, the other. This just works for me. So I've gone ahead and, cre and created my template with, with like fake numbers and stuff just because, just for the sake of this, of the video. So let's just go ahead and finish this off. So uh, let's just assume that somebody's rent is um, a thousand pounds a month. Gym memberships are about 30 quid. Okay, so that's kind of done. So the idea is just for me to understand my finances visually. It's not for an app to just take control of my life. Um, so the, the basic premise of this um, spreadsheet goes like this. Uh, you put your regular income here, so your general your salary. I put 2,000 pounds just for like a, a general salary. So let's call this salary. So you would set your spreadsheet up like this. Um, and let's say even you make about um, 250 quid a month by, um, let's say you've got some affiliate marketing going on, you know? So you, so your regular income every month is about 2,250 pounds, which you can see up here. So every time you add something, this changes, as you guys can see. So that's changed total there. And then down here is got my regular expenses. So these are my month-to-month -month expenses. And I've just written, again, random expenses. And up here, it tells us the accumulation of how much it comes to. So let's say, for example, this is for Learn's um, spreadsheet. And he basically pays 1,000 pound a month on rent, 30 pound gym membership, seven pound Audible. Um, and then what I also do is I actually budget anything that I can predict that I will spend money on or anything that's regular occurrence for me in a month. So not just bills. So for example, haircuts. And then here it says the date that these things are due. And I just kind of got bored so I didn't finish it off, but let's just pretend. I basically, as much as possible, set up all of my finances to for all of my bills to come out on the first of every month, if possible. So I just put like a little D to say done on like this first or second of every month when I log in. I just get a D to say that these are done. And then these guys that come out on the 25th, on the first of every month, I still uh, get rid of them. So they're not in my current account anymore. I put them into a separate account or, or visually I put them in a separate account at the very least. So I, for example, know that my phone bill doesn't come out to the 25th. So over here, I'll create a budget called phone bill. And I've transferred 30 pounds into that account. Oops. 
And then you can see up here, I've got 30 pound in my budgets now for the month. And then once you've spent, let's say for example, you've gone food shopping uh, and you spent 50 quid, then you just go into here and you take off 50 quid, put in 100 and you transfer yourself that money. Again, I know it's very manual, but it's just how I like it, okay? Um, now, so now what I've done is, is the, let's say for example, it's the first of the month. As much as bills as possible, they've come out of my account. Also, everything that hasn't come out of my account, I've transferred into the budgets tab. So now in my account, all I should have left is my disposable income. Now this tab here calculates my disposable income. It basically takes my regular income, take away my regular expenses, and that's, it leaves my, this is the disposable income I've got left at, uh, at the month. So this money I can spend on whatever, or it can go into my system. The next tab we'll look at is debt. So there's this tab here. So if for example, you owe, uh, owe some debts, um, as a Muslim, as we know, we should really, really take care of our debts. Taking care of your debts is like, such an important thing in Islam, and while debts are permissible, um, they're really often right, uh, advised against. And um, you know, we know various ahadith about dying with debt. So um, I've added this tab um, so that we can visualize our debts every time. If we have debts, we visualize them so we can pay them off. And I've also added a tab here called savings. But this is why I think this is like great for the Muslim mind. Uh, firstly, because of debts, because often if we don't um, if we don't know about the seriousness of debts in Islam, we probably won't put them out of the forefront of our mind, especially when they're debts that we probably haven't considered or um, we just think, oh, one day we'll sort it, like maybe like student finance or something. In savings, this will help you visualize the savings. So let's say, for example, you want to go Hajj, Hajj costs 10,000 pounds, add money into here. So every time you have a bit of disposable income, you've got 400 quid this month, chuck 100, let's chuck 100 quid into our Hajj fund, and now we're 100 pound closer to going to Hajj. And so house fund, if you want to buy a house outright, it's probably going to cost you about 400 grand. Um, so you can start chucking, so you might as well start chucking money in that ASAP. Um, if we look at these three tabs, debts, budgets and savings, um, most people have probably one bank account. And so in that bank account, you probably have a current account and a savings account. And in theory, all of this, so debts, budgets and savings, this should all go into your savings account. But the reason it's better to look at the spreadsheet is because here you can see what the label that each piece of money has on it. Because if you look at your savings account and you have 10 grand in there, I have loads of savings and therefore um, I can spend money. But once you have a label on every pound, uh, you'll no longer look at your savings account because that won't really tell you how much, that will just tell you the overall figure that you have. But this spreadsheet will tell you what that means and, and, and what that money is broken down into. And that should help you not spend money that you don't really have. Um, even though you technically have it, it's, it's assigned to something. And the theory is that you have everything assigned to something, every pound has a label, and then you're on top of your money completely. So now you never manage your money through your bank, you manage it through this, then you visualize it through this. Okay, so that is the spreadsheet of how I visualize my money. If you guys like it and uh, you want to use it, I'll put a link for my spreadsheet uh, template in the bio, which you guys can download and upload into your Excel or your Google Sheets. If you think this is a really old school way of doing things, and it's so manual and it's stupid, I agree with you um, and stick to your way. I just like it. For some reason, this is one of the things in my life that I like doing manually. Um, everything else I really like to automate, but I, I enjoy doing this manually. All right, Shazakallah khair guys for watching this video. Thanks so much, I hope it's benefited you. And inshallah, I will see you on the next video. Uh, please do sign up for Skillshare using my link and check out my course on how to monetize your podcast or your project or your, or your, or your YouTube channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so this isn't my car, but guys, listen, my friend runs a chauffeur business. It's called Eagle Chauffeurs. I'm going to leave the link in the bio. If you need a chauffeur in and around London, these guys are the top notch boys for this. Look at this car, leather interior, marble something, steering wheel, and you might, you're not gonna, you, it's possible that you could have me as your driver, but you're not gonna. And thank you for letting me drive this car, Eagle Chauffeurs. Go check them out. Links in the bios. And now that's my signal speed out. <laughs>